Have you ever wondered what it looks like when a star dies? Not in a supernova, a brilliant explosion that seeds the cosmos with new elements, but something far more violent, far more absolute. Imagine a star, much like our own sun, peacefully journeying through the vast emptiness of space. Its path, however, takes it on a collision course, not with another star, but with the most extreme object in the universe, a supermassive black hole. What happens next is a cosmic horror story on an unimaginable scale. As the star gets closer, the black hole's immense gravity starts to pull on it. But this isn't a uniform pull. The side of the star closer to the black hole is pulled much, much more strongly than the far side. This difference in gravitational force, known as a tidal force, stretches the star. It elongates, getting pulled into a long, thin noodle of stellar material in a process gruesomely nicknamed spaghettification. This isn't just a theory. In 2020, astronomers witnessed this very event. They watched as a star, located in a galaxy 215 million light-years away, was torn to shreds by a black hole. We saw it happen. As the star was ripped apart, its gas and plasma were pulled into a swirling, superheated disk around the black hole, known as an accretion disk. This disk glowed with an incredible intensity, creating a flare of light so bright it was visible across hundreds of millions of light years. We were watching the final, brilliant death scream of a star. This phenomenon is called a tidal disruption event, or TDE. It's one of the most powerful and destructive events in the universe. But what's truly mind-blowing is what we learned from this particular event. As material from the shredded star was ejected outward, astronomers clocked its speed. They expected it to be moving at a significant fraction of the speed of light. But it wasn't. The material was moving at about 10,000 kilometers per second. While that's incredibly fast, it's only about 3% the speed of light. This implies there's a cosmic speed limit on these ejections, a physical barrier that prevents the stellar debris from being flung out any faster. The universe, in its most violent moments, still adheres to its own laws. We witness the ultimate cosmic destruction in real time, and in doing so, we uncovered a fundamental truth about how these behemoths operate. Death, it seems, has a speed limit. Thanks for watching. If you found this cosmic tale as fascinating as I did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more journeys into the unknown. See you next time.